Okay, so I've completely finished uh, reshaping the torque arm. As you can see, it's back on the bike, and the caliper is being perfectly cleared by the torque arm now. So now what I'm going to do, because uh, both sides are, you know, they're okay, I'm going to take them off, I'm going to completely sand them down for a finished sand, and I'm going to put a coat of primer on, and probably paint them either gray or black, depending on what I choose. Uh, what I'm also going to do, if you can see all these bolts, they're stock bolts for my GT bike still. So I'm going to be replacing these. They're starting to rust over. So I'm going to be getting some stainless steel uh, bolts to match all this on my rear and front calipers. And uh, after I get that going, we can start mounting the aluminum bar for mounting all my electrical components inside my frame. I'm also going to be uh, replacing my crank, but I'm waiting to find the proper toothed crank. I think I'm looking for a 52. I'm just trying to find a good deal on one on the internet. And after we get that, we'll be able to get the thing up and running for good. Okay, so I went to the hardware store and I picked up some new Allen bolts for my brake calipers so they look a little cleaner because the ones that I had on there were rusting. also picked up some new washers too so the bolts look a little better. I forgot to grab the bolts that would align the caliper from the left and right, so I'll have to pick up four more bolts when I go out to the store. But what I'm doing now is working on the mount for the center, electrical components, and what I did was I took my 2-inch by 36-inch aluminum stock, and I cut it down to size, and I drilled holes through it where it would mount to my water bottle cage and I removed the cage, so I'm going to be using those two holes to hold it down to my frame. Now what I'm doing here is I recycled the old PVC roof that I was using for covering my electrical comp components on my old bike, and I cut out two long strips, as you can see here. Here's one of them. And they're the same size as the aluminum rod. So what I'm doing here is I'm using some epoxy, and I'm blending it up with a pencil and some cardboard, nice and easy. And I'm laying it all over the entire length of the piece of aluminum. And after I have that done, I'm laying the little piece of PVC on it. And I'm pressing it in place so it can dry overnight. I'm going to put one on each side of the aluminum. So when I mount it to my frame, for one, it doesn't scratch the frame. And the top side of it will have a nice light surface for the batteries. Okay, so I came into work today and uh, I found out one side of my aluminum stock was glued with uh, the rubber roofing and it came out successful. So I took off the clamps and I flipped around the piece of aluminum and used up the rest of my two-part epoxy and blended it in together with a pencil and some cardboard. I laid it out all over the piece of two-inch stock aluminum and I glued on the other side of the rubber roof. And now as you can see I got it pressed down with a couple of C-clamps. That actually, that corner right there isn't even getting pressed down. I have to fix that right now. But it's going to be pressed to set to dry. I'm just going to put a little more pressure on this corner right now. And uh, let it dry for a couple hours, and we'll see how it comes out. And we can get it mounted on the bike with the controller. All right, after letting the glue dry overnight and coming back here in the morning and cleaning it up a bit with a little goo gone and couple of other chemicals. We got it uh, pretty cleaned. I drilled out the holes and uh, made them so I can fit some uh, flathead screws in there and they'll sit flush. And as you can see I have uh, rubber on the top and bottom. So I'm going to end up using 12 gauge wire and I'm going to use two of them at a time and I'm going to parallel them. So that'll hold the current I need. I got some Anderson connectors, 45 amp, and some 95.5 solder and I'm getting set up here. Yeah, I got a little battery pack here spinning a fan just to blow some of the nasty solder away. I got my Dremel tool, everything set up I need to go here and my soldering iron, just a couple of screwdrivers. just need to get some wire and then I can start doing it. I'm going to put this pack together, put one of the 36 volt packs together. That's, I need to start with one for now because I need to size it up and then put the other one around that one. Okay, I'm at halfway point right now. What I did was I 
Finally put the 36 volt pack into its long configuration by hot gluing it in place and uh, as you can see I started soldering my 12 gauge fine stranded copper in a parallel form across the cells and uh, like I said I was putting them in between the cells so I try not to get the cells that hot I also got a fan that's con constantly cooling them down and it's helping out a lot so as you can see I'm gonna keep uh, putting these little strips of copper all the way down here and then I'm gonna flip the pack over and uh, finally put the series configurations in okay I got this half of the battery complete now time to flip it over and get the other half done. Now I've been uh, dremeling all of my terminals to make sure they're polished and clean. And I've also been tinning the uh, solder down onto the tabs before I put the wire on top of it and also soldered onto that. Sometimes some spots I ended up using a little too much solder, but uh, some spots I conserved and they came out decent. But all in all, I think that'll work. Now let's flip it over and get the other side. Okay, I got the pack flipped over, I taped off the two ends that are going to be my positive and negative leads off the battery, and I'm on the home stretch now. I got two of them done, two more to go. I got the battery pack completed, I put some 8 gauge leads on them, and just soldered it all the way across, and then I got my negative down there, and now I just got to put an end on it. So, let's see how it comes out. Well, last night I got my battery pack built, the first one that's going to be going down the tube here. And as you can see, I got my piece of 2-inch aluminum stock mounted on the bike, and I have the PVC rubber roof cut to a size and glued on both sides with some plastic epoxy. And I got it mounted onto the frame, and it's very snug. I think it's going to work out perfectly. Uh, now I just have my controller in place, and I think that's where it's going to be mounted. I just have to bring the battery pack in once I get it heat shrinked and uh, see if it fits properly underneath those wires. But I think it's going to work out just right. And then I can start building the other pack and fit it right above it there in front of the shock. Well, I got the battery wired up and temporarily hooked up to this charger just so I can put some voltage into the pack. And it's holding 41 volts and it's charging fine and every one of the cell groups is sitting a little over 4 volts so everything's going good right now I have to order my balance leads, I'm going to be putting balance leads on all 10 of these cells as well as the next pack, I just have to get them see what I want to use first for a connector and then we'll go from there and I need to order some heat shrink as well but uh, this is going to be the configuration of the first pack and once I can get this thing uh, put back on the bike now with the controller. I can find out what I need to do to design my second pack and fit it in there properly.